Here's a problem that nicely makes use of the idea that horizontal and vertical components of motion for projectiles are independent. That an object moving horizontally is independent of its motion vertically. A horizontally moving tennis ball barely clears the net a distance y above the surface of the court. To land within the court, it must not be moving too fast. Part A. Ignoring air drag, find the maximum speed the ball can have as it clears the net to land within the court's border a distance d from the bottom of the net. To solve this problem, like most all problems, we focus on what is asked for. We're asked for speed, so we begin our solution by writing v equals just this much is a lot, for it puts us on the road to a solution. Model the tennis ball as a projectile moving in the absence of air drag, so the horizontal and vertical components of the ball's velocity are independent. We're asked to find its horizontal speed, so we write v equals d over t. D is the horizontal distance traveled in time t. We're given d, but we're not given the time. So this isn't a simple one-step problem. Importantly, the equation directs us to consider time, which we might not have considered otherwise. Now some important physics. The time t it takes for the ball to hit the court will be the same time as if we had dropped it from the top of the net from rest, a vertical distance y. We say from rest because the initial vertical component of velocity is zero when the ball's at its highest point in the path, moving horizontally, just clearing the net. Our equation for vertical distance fallen from rest, y equals one-half gt squared. We see that the time is simply the square root of 2y over g. So, substituting, we find our answer is v equals d over the square root of 2y over g. Yum! Let's put some numerical values in and ask, part b, calculate the ball's maximum speed as it clears the net of height 1.00 meters and that strikes within the court's border a distance of 12.0 meters from the base of the net. Plugging in the values, we see that the maximum speed for the ball is 26.8 meters per second. That's about 60 miles per hour. Try this yum problem with your friends. It's a good one. I want to leave you with a question. If the net were a little higher, would the maximum speed for the ball be a little less or a little more than 26.8 meters per second? Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.